Hi everyone, I'm Pao and I do random stuff for the internet and today I'm going to be joining my very first Jigsaw Puzzle Tournament. So yeah, this isn't my usual setup by the way, I don't have my lights but that's only because I'm working remotely but the window's great. And I'm also recording this voiceover part in my original location because again, why not? Anyway, coming into this video, you might be thinking, what? There are actual tournaments where people compete in jigsaw puzzling? And the answer is yes, it's very much a real thing. But before we get into how the tournaments work, let's dive into the history of jigsaw puzzles. When these were first invented, they weren't really called jigsaw puzzles, but were referred to as dissected maps or dissected pictures, because that's basically what they were. The credited inventor of jigsaw puzzles, John Spilsbury, this guy, was a map engraver from London. And what he did in 1762 was he glued one of his maps into a piece of wood and he cut along the boundaries of the countries. He intended this as a tool to help children learn more about geography. The dissected maps turned into different dissected pictures featuring a variety of subjects such as history, zoology, etc. It became a worldwide thing in the early 1900s and got even more popular after the Great Depression and World War II. And from then on, what was intended as an educational tool evolved and became a worldwide pastime. Competitive jigsaw puzzling, otherwise known as speed puzzling, formally started around 2019. That year, the World Jigsaw Puzzle Federation was founded and they hosted the very first World Jigsaw Championship in Valladolid, Spain. It is the largest jigsaw puzzle competition in the world, Guinness Book of World Records certified, and is often referred to as the Olympics of jigsaw puzzling. The championship was canceled back in 2020 and 2021 due to the pandemic, but was back again in 2022. Last year, 2023, was the biggest championship so far, having more than 900 participants from all around the world join the competition. Here in the Philippines, the first ever tournament was held last year and was aptly called the first Philippine Jigsaw Puzzle Competition. It was divided into two events, the inter-school one where teams of students competed and the main event where everyone could join. And that event was organized by the same people that organized today's tournament and that is none other than the Jigsaw Puzzle Community Philippines. This year's competition is called the first Metro Manila Jigsaw Puzzle Tournament. And why I joined is, well, for me personally, I love doing puzzles. It's something that I've always done since I was a child. I remember my parents like gifting me puzzles when I was very young and they would love me to do it because they believe it had a lot to do with brain development, probably make you smarter or something. Yeah, unfortunately, we didn't get to keep any of the finished pieces from my childhood, but I remember so vividly finishing this Mickey Mouse puzzle with my aunt and what she did when we finished it was she put like double-sided tape on the back of it to like put it together and she put it on our bedroom door so every time we would come in we would see it and like we'd feel very accomplished of what we did but in general I didn't really get to do a lot of puzzles because I was busy with school but my interest in jigsaw puzzling got revived when my family and I visited the puzzle mansion I think January of 2020. The puzzle mansion is a museum that holds the largest collection of jigsaw puzzles in the world from 2012 to 2017. It is a record bestowed by the Guinness Book of World Records to Filipino businesswoman and jigsaw puzzle enthusiast Miss Georgina Hill Lacuna. Her collection features a total of 1,028 completed puzzles, a collection she started back in 1987. Miss Gina unfortunately passed in 2014, but her legacy lives on. The Puzzle Museum is still a must-see tourist spot in Tagaytay, Philippines. My experience there was really memorable. I remember being so amazed to see completed and framed puzzles wherever I love. It's a really good experience and it inspired me to work on puzzles right away. We literally got a box set before we went home. I think that was very good timing because during the pandemic, I had all the time in the world, so I worked on a few pieces. I guess for me, it's very inspiring in a way that I want to spend so much time just hanging out. Hanging out? <laughs> I want to... It's part... It gave me this goal to like 
someday enter a room full of finished puzzle pieces. That would be very cool. So far, I only got a few finished pieces, but I hope to finish more very soon. Ever since then, I've done all I can to really immerse myself into jigsaw puzzling. I've looked up the best techniques on how to do it faster, what brands I should check out, even sought out a community that has the same love for puzzles. I joined this Facebook group. All this to say that I love jigsaw puzzling. So imagine my delight when I came across a post that says there's going to be a jigsaw puzzle tournament happening very soon. And I was like, why not? Hello, please excuse my face. It's currently 1am. And I remember there is a post in the Philippine Jigsaw Puzzle Enthusiast Facebook group that there is going to be a jigsaw puzzle tournament in Metro Manila. It's exciting. See, there's a Philippine Jigsaw Puzzle Enthusiast group, and this is the post, and I'm gonna register. I'm doing it. I'm gonna sign up. Please don't mind all of the tabs that are open. But I'm gonna do it. I did it. I registered. It says here, it's just funny. We receive your information. Insert other information here. It's cute. So my goal for the competition is to just experience it and learn from it as much as I can. If I would finish the puzzle within the time limit, I would be very happy. But if I don't, that's okay. I didn't want to pressure myself and ruin the experience. And with all that preparation done, the day of the competition arrived. Good morning. It is like 9.30ish. I'm at Gateway 2. It's echoey because I'm in the basement. I already got up and dude it's so legit. I didn't expect that there would be a lot of floor space, but then again it is a major event. I'm so excited. When I got to the venue and I got there pretty early because they were still setting up, initial thoughts are like, wow, it's so big. I didn't expect it to be that big and that formal of an event it had a stage the stage was big the signage was big we were in the middle of the gateway to thingy what's it called what's it called insert it here wow um <laughs> we were in the middle of the mall where everyone can see us which is like uh but it was fun so other than the tables that are set up for the competitors they also have a gallery wall at the front where they hung finished puzzle pieces. It was very nice. There were even 3D puzzles that you can check out. And they also have puzzles that other people can try, like just the people coming into the mall and checking things out. They can actually work on those puzzles too. So it's very nice. It's very interactive. It's an event not just for the competitors, but anyone who wants to check out what is going on. Other than the big setup, what I noticed is that a lot of people knew everyone else. So you would really sense that there's really a community of people that love puzzles. People were like hugging, like, hi, how are you? I'm very excited. The people that met for just the first time, they were asking how long you've been doing puzzles, what kind of puzzles you like. It's just all about puzzles. We're all talking about puzzles. It was fun. Before the program started, there was this registration. I saw my name. It was fun. I got this cool shirt. I think it's really cool. And I got this bag full of goodies. They made made us wear the shirt so it's looking very official. They made us pick a seat and make sure we're sitting next to another person. This is where I met Jess. She's my seatmate for the whole thing and we bonded over our curly hair because we both have curly hair and we talked about products and routines right away. Hi Jess. We had time to set up our cameras or whatever it is that you want to do. Go to the bathroom, have some water, maybe review what your game plan is. So after a short program, you know, welcoming remarks, speeches from all the important people. After all of that, the tournament officially began. So the tournament begins and let me tell you, it was very intense. They played this dramatic, almost news program intense kind of music and they played it on loop for like the first hour.
It was very intense to the point that some people stood up to like get a good view of it. People were in a hurry to open the box and just put the puzzles on the table and like go to sorting right away. I unfortunately didn't open my box right away. I was very frustrated. I don't have nails. I can't I can't open it. So I like pulled I pulled a pen out of my bag and just finally got to open it. So my approach with the puzzle, I actually learned this from Karen Puzzles in that video she did with the Try Guys, is to flip all the pieces and simultaneously sort them. For this puzzle, I put all the reds together and I put all the red oranges and the whites and the yellows, etc. You get the idea. And normally what I would do next is to go for the edges and work my way in by section. But you know, Pintu puzzles are different. Their edges are just white. So my only indication that this is the edge if it is like half white and half picture. So I pushed them aside for now and I started focusing on the big sections first. So I work on the colored buildings and then the bench and then the ground and then lastly the sky. In general, it was a very chill time for me. When they finally changed the music after the first hour, I was just singing along to the songs while trying to find all the pieces and putting them together. Can I just say that Pintu puzzles are very satisfying to complete. They didn't lie in their promotion. Well, the organizers showed a promotional video of the Pintu puzzles before we started where it's all about that, that, that clacking is that the right word that that sound when you push in the puzzle and that is exactly what it feels like they didn't lie it was very satisfying to complete so when i was doing the puzzle i was surprised by how focused i was well i made the conscious decision not to look at my seatmate, not to look at anyone else's progress every now and then i'd look up a bit and get a glimpse of what is going on but most of the time, I was just focused on what I was doing. So yeah, it was very fun. I didn't want to rush myself. I made good progress with the buildings and then the bench. And then I think I had an hour left to complete the sky. And I'm like, oh no, this is going to take me a while. Because I always struggle with... <laughs> I always struggle with completing the sky. That's why I always tackle it last. Because, you know, by then, if there's no distinguishable pattern or color, you will tend to look at how the puzzle is cut and look for the right shapes to put in. When I was working on the sky part, I really needed a light. I did have a light. I didn't set it up because I was shy. <laughs> so when we were setting up, I didn't see anyone putting up a light, so I didn't. But you're technically allowed to bring one. <laughs> And I glanced up once and I saw someone using a light and I'm like, okay, that is a note for next time. I should just set up a light regardless of whether everyone else is doing it or not. So anyway, I did my best to finish the sky before the time ended. The atmosphere of the competition was very nice and you could feel the support in the air, if that makes sense. Because people would really stop what they're doing and clap for the other people that would finish. Because every time someone would finish, we would all be like, yay! And we would celebrate that person. And it honestly felt like we were competing in some sort of sport because whenever someone is about to finish, they'd raise their hand and the marshals would come in and they'd be like, come on, you can do it. Just a few more pieces. Put the edges. Raise it up, raise it up. Come on. Like, wow, it was so intense. It was so fun. And everyone would cheer. <laughs> but yeah, by the end of the four hours, I wasn't able to finish the entire puzzle. When they counted, I only had like 121 pieces left. But that is counting the edges, you know, the white edges that I didn't even open yet. If I had known that it was counted, <laughs> if I had known that it was counted, I would have spent the last five minutes putting them on. Because if I did, I would have ended up with like less than 30 pieces, which is already an achievement in my book. After that, the post-tournament program is still going on, so I gave myself a new goal to just finish the puzzle before the event ends. So I kept working on it. The lights weren't changing so much by this point, so it helped me really see the differences and put the sky together. But that got interrupted because I won in the raffle. Yay! It's me! Oh my God. So I looked really happy to have won the raffle. I got this survivor puzzle. It looks 
old which is very interesting because I've always wanted to work on like you know puzzles that have been there for a while and have just been waiting to be put together I love it thank you so much <laughs> and anyway the program is ongoing I was still trying to work on it the grand prize by the way is a 3,000 piece puzzle those are very expensive and also the twist was there was another grand prize which is like an overnight stay at the puzzle mansion I didn't know that they had overnight stays in that place so that's very interesting I want to try that sometime so anyway after working on it and still working on it I finally finished the puzzle before the program ended so yay <laughs> I achieved my new goal I was so excited when I was getting down to the last few pieces that I didn't even stop to record it separately uh, you could just hear it was so chaotic because I was so excited to just Put everything in its place it was very satisfying to be able to put up the finished puzzle i love that about pin 2 puzzles so i took pictures it's really good overall i love that experience of competing in a puzzle tournament i've learned so much i love the fact that we're just a community of people with the same love for the same thing like i keep telling the people around me that we're just a bunch of nerds hanging out doing puzzles competitively which is basically what it is i use nerds in a very lovingly way Way, by the way <laughs> so i guess my notes for the next time i do this is i just want to really improve my time like my goal is to be able to finish the puzzle within the given time frame if i do that next time and i'm pretty sure there will be a next time please jpc philippines let there be a next time anyway if i get to do that next time i would be very very happy and then in the next competitions just improve my time from there and maybe who knows one day i'd be able to do what they did the first three placers were amazing by the way i think they finished it in like a little over an hour it was very amazing to watch like from the sidelines because you know every now and then you'd look up and you'd see whoever would finish first and it was just amazing and everyone just showed their admiration towards them because what they do is just wow <laughs> i hope i'd be able to do that as well one day for someone who didn't do puzzles for a while i think i did pretty okay like i only had like technically less than 30 pieces left not counting the edges for this tournament they have like a ranking it's not just for the first three people they would actually rank you according to the time you finish but you know because i didn't finish i didn't have an official ranking but it's nice that my my name is <laughs> is there somewhere on the list i hope that my name would be on you know with a number next time <laughs> so if you're someone who's like interested in doing puzzles i would really encourage you to do so it is something that you can do by yourself to help yourself relax and clear your mind you could do it with your friends or family like a bonding experience or you can do it competitively as we have learned today <laughs> and as you've seen in this video there is a community that is ready to take you in and give you all these fun experiences and help you grow your love and overall experience when it comes to jigsaw puzzling here are the groups that you could join by the way if you're interested they're awesome people and i would love to see them all again in another event so overall my experience of dipping my toes into the competitive jigsaw puzzling world was great i learned so much i was so happy i was able to apply a bunch of techniques i was exposed to this new and fun community i took home multiple puzzles and I got a cool shirt. All this to say, I can't wait to do it again. So that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like the video if you feel like it and subscribe because I'm gonna do more of these and a bunch of random stuff too. Till next time, bye.